Of course. Welcome back. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Welcome to the wonder. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. All men are Warden. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you?
won't take long. enough. We need to get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Touching those abominations. It's wrong. Someone has to do it. Why do we have to take them across the lake to burn? The lake's right there. I wish I could have gone with them, to fight. Will you stop eating? I see him.
you like. This won't take long. On it. As you like. I'll get on it. Now's better than later. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Oh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Just as well. You'll find the golem in a village named Honleith, in the hinterlands. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I've heard it might be dangerous there with all the dark spawn about, but I'll wager that's not an issue for someone like you. <laughs> Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself.
Got it. Twisted creatures. than later. Get on it. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. I'll get on it. What we are looking at is a golem. It would appear it is defunct, though there may be a way to revive it yet.
later. On it. Now's better than later. Shall we?
I'll get on it. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. My mother never talked about it much. I was just a small child when my father died. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did Mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She said she never wanted to see Shale activated again. If so, I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase. Just save my little girl, I'm begging you! I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. I'll get on it.
Yes? I'll get on it. What do you mean you haven't climbed a tree? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough. Once you know how. I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... A compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Better than later. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Now's better than later. Got it. So you can get off my back. I'll get on it. All right, all right. I'll get on it. Kitty says Grandpa Will have get you a ladder. So you can get off Isn't my that back. Awful? Got it. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't!
Sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. <laughs> I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Crap. 
creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me how all the village is dead. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on. Order me to do something. Oh, go on. It will be fun. <clears throat> I, uh, I don't appreciate foreign objects invading my personal space. Well, usually. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... what shall I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? May I ask what sorts of things it gets up to for which I could be so potentially useful? It refers to the Darkspawn, the very creatures that destroyed this village. The Darkspawn are an evil that must be destroyed, it's true. Though not as evil as the birds. Damnable feathered fiends. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Yes, very likely. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Yes, I'm just funny that way. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Oh, blast it, yes.
Shiny. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. They are, aren't they? I so adore them. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Your friends are formidable foe. I'm sure. I could get used to this, you know. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. 
She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Great. Super. Thanks. If there's any... No, no, terrible. I could get used to this, you know. Wonderful thought. I am impressed. My thanks. I shall treasure it. Thank you. I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim I don't think she knew about me either. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. You look so tired, my dear. 
It is all this constant walking and fighting. I think I know what you need. My thought is this. We retire to your tent, and I show you the sort of massage skills that one only learns growing up in an Antivan whorehouse. If you mean to ask whether or not there might be more than a massage involved, allow me simply to say that you won't be disappointed with any of the techniques I've picked up over the years. What is there to fear, my Grey Warden? You deserve a little fun, do you not? If you're not of a mind, however, it is no tragedy. <laughs> well, you can't blame a man for trying, can you? Never fear. Another time will always present itself. I... Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orlais. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage, and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else, and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, Terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. Yes, you can imagine what she looked like by the end of the evening. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I... I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. You see? You play along with me. Not many will do that. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. Ah, oh, yes. It's very nice. But you must watch out the next time you're in a marsh. The humidity, it does nothing for it. And we can't have you saving the world with bad hair now, can we? You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is... unexpected. You're welcome. I was sent to be the eyes of the Antom. The Arishok asked what is the Blight. By his curiosity, I am now here. The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. Kunari have no kings. Little patience for endless questions. A portion of it. Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Yes. Never. I cannot go home. Thank you. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. As you wish. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike. Dragging the young boy, kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. 
a most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could, but as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Anyone with sufficient will, but the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? A most practical opinion, far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. I await your command. At times, perhaps, a world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, was to the trees. Such simple pleasures will only enthrall for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. I was heartbroken. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. They did indeed. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely, but such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place amidst reality. I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I await. So, full of questions, I. Possibly, if I had the desire to. I do not. I was told to accompany you and to help you, and that I shall. This may extend to the teaching of my mother's skills in time. For now, 
I simply do not know you well enough. I promise nothing. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> On your order, Grey Warden. The R was generous, but rushed. Certain areas could see improvement. We're a mercenary force, Warden. Much of our equipment is self-financed. Were you to commit additional funds, we'd upgrade as we saw the need. 